Good afternoon folks, Simon at Vans today in Worcester going to give you a quick video walk around of this lovely 2017 Fiat Fullback uh, 2.4 LX double cab uh, pickup that's just arrived in with us. Uh, this is a 2017 model um, on a 17 plate. Uh, it's a one owner vehicle from new. Um, from memories come from Fiat contract hire. Uh, LX model is the top of the range model that they do on this particular vehicle. Uh, so obviously Fit Fullback and Mitsubishi L200 is essentially the same vehicle. Um, to give you an idea, just badge engineering by the manufacturers. <clears throat> so uh, this one, as I say, one keeper, it's done 58,000 miles. It's in nice condition throughout. Uh, we'll give you a quick video walk around now so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. Um, but let's start from this corner, shall we? Um, so driver side rear corner. If we uh, have a look down the vehicle, hopefully you can see there's no dents or dings to point out to you. Everything's in good order. Nice set of alloy wheels on them. Uh, tires are all good, look as though they're fairly recent, to be fair. And if we do an away shot, so you can see that colour wise, it's all in one colour that it should be. Obviously, rear privacy on the back end, which is factory standard. Your full black leather interior inside, mirror unit there, all in nice condition. Uh, keyless entry and keyless ignition on these. Pretty nice chrome side steps fitted to it as well. Again, front alloy wheel and tyre all in good order. Very light hedge marks on the trim on the front there. Probably get that mopped out to be fair. But uh, driver side headlamp unit and fog light unit, as you can see, are all in good order. Windscreen, all good. No major stone chips on there to worry about. And bonnet wise again, uh, in not bad order at all. A couple of really minor marks on it. I think in actual fact it's it's excess polish that hasn't come off it from the valet. So um, front end of the vehicle, so front grille and passenger light units are all in good order. You get really minor chipping on the front there on the silver trim. Again, a bit of a touch-up stick will get rid of those. And again, some very light hedge marks on the front there and a little bit of a touching required there. Um, this is all stuff that we can get resorted on it. Um, at the moment, uh, we're just uh, absolutely flat out busy with preparation of sold vehicles. As you see, passenger front alloy wheel and tire again is all good and I'll give you a shot going down the side of the vehicle again you can see there's no dents or dings to point out to you mirror unit on this side all good again side steps all in good order rear tire and wheel again very nice order good tread depth on those tires Now we've got a little bit of trim missing on the top of the bumper there. As you can see, there's some black trim for the rear bumper. We have ordered it up from Fiat and we can clip that back on for you. Uh, one thing just to point out to you, so let's go along the top of the tub. So you can see quite often with these lease vehicles, people will take the hard tops or the sliding covers or whatever they've had on them off the vehicle again. And that can quite often leave marks on top of the tubs on top of your tailgate as you can see this one it's all in nice order and your rear tailgate there's your reverse camera there look rear tailgates in nice condition with no dents or dings on it in the tub in the back you've got your Mitsubishi load liner well don't quote me on that you have got a load liner it may not be made by Mitsubishi however there's your load liner excuse our uh, price board being in the back there but hopefully you can see that load liner has not done a lot of hard work, has it? 
and whilst the sun is in, let's try and get some video of the inside. So, entry seals and paintwork is in nice condition. Carpet, as you can see, they're not full of mud or rubbish. Quite often when they're used hard, these things can look a little bit worn out. Door card, that side all good. Rear seat, as you can see, black leather, all in nice condition. Doesn't appear to have had a lot of use. Right, door sill this side. You got a little bit of scratching, really common on these L200s, but a little bit of scratching on your entry sill there. I'm afraid, look at this already, it's been valeted and people have got in and out of it with muddy boots on, so that will be re cleaned, obviously. Uh, you've got a bit of wear on your driver's seat bolster on the leather here and here. Uh, that is some stuff that we can sort out for you. Um, but obviously 58,000 miles, it's uh, going to have had some wear on it. Um, let's see if we can get a better view here of the inside. So, electric windows. You've got electric folding mirrors, there's your stop start button, there's your lane departure warning system button, your electronic stability program button, and your headlamp levelers. You have got cruise control on the steering wheel here, and you've got your telephone uh, answering side of things, volume, search controls, voice activation, etc., is on that side of your steering wheel. Six speed gearbox, and down here is your 4x4 system. And also over here, your electronic, uh, your electric heated seats. Sorry, your heated seats. The driver's heat, the driver's seat is partially electric adjustable as well. USB port, climate control, air conditioning on these models, and you've got a touchscreen sat nav there um, as well, and that links up to your reverse parking camera, uh, and obviously you've got Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music on it. There we go. Uh, 30 odd photos will be up on our website shortly, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester. We are based in Worcester, obviously, in the middle of the country. Um, we have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, etc. etc. Check us out on there. Um, as I say, 30 odd photos will be on our website very shortly. If you want to go old school, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 give us an email at sales at vans today .com. thanks for looking at the video i'm simon and we'll catch you later